Now in the second of these two videos, I'm going to be showing you graphing using the over up down table again, but this time with stretching, shrinking, and flips. What happens when you multiply a number in front? It's going to stretch or shrink um, the graph. And you'll see how it works in a few seconds. Here I have my over up down table. And uh, if I go over one, I'm going to go up two times one squared, which is two. If I go over 2, I'm going to go up 2 times 2 squared, which is 8, because you square first. If I go over 3, you go up 2 times 3 squared, which is 18. If you go over 0, you go up 2 times 0 squared, which of course is 0. Now if I go to the left, if I go over negative 1, 2 times negative 1 squared, is still up 2. And 2 times negative 2 squared is still up uh, 8. And 2 times negative 3 squared is still up 18. So when you actually do the graph, this is what it looks like. When you go over 1, you go up 2. When you go over 2, you go up 8. When you go over 3, you go up 18, which is way up here. If I go over 0, I go up 0. If I go to the left 1, I go up 2. If I go to the left 2, I go up 8. 2 times 2 squared. If I go to the left 3, I go up 2 times negative 3 squared, which puts me way up here at 18. So this is what my graph looks like. It comes zooming down here. It's a parabola, and it goes zooming up through here. The original that I showed you in the last video was actually here. If I went over 1, I went up 1. If I went over 2, I went up 4, half as much. If I went over 3, I went up 9, half as much. So what's happened? There's my original video. Here, I'll put that in in red here. Here's my original video there. And the same thing on this side. This thing goes up twice as fast. So a number in front of any one of these curves is going to stretch it in the y direction if it is a number greater than 1. Now I've, here I've taken another one of our curves but this time I've taken a number less than 1. I've taken a fraction. Okay, And uh, this is our absolute value. So if I go over 1 I'm going to go up a half times the absolute value of 1 which just equals a half times 1. If I go uh, to the right 2, I'm going to go over a half of the absolute value of 2, which is 2, so a half of 2 is equal to 1. If I go over 3, I'm going to go a half of the absolute value of 3, which is equal to 1.5. Now, if I happen to throw negatives in here, and negatives here, and negatives here, the absolute value of negative 1, the absolute value of negative 2, and the absolute value of negative 3 uh, do not change. Here, I'll put those in darker so you can see them. I'm still going to go up the 0.5, the 1, and the 1.5. And if I went over 0, 0.5 times the absolute value of 0 is 0. So when I plot these guys, I go over 0, and I go up 0. I go over 1, and I go up a half. I go over 2, I go up 1. And if I go over 3, I go up 1 and a half. If I go to the left, I go up a half. Left 2, I'm going to go up negative 1. I mean up 1. And if I go to the left 3, I'm going to go up 1 and a half. You no longer get your 45 degree angle. You get still get a V shape. But the original that I showed you last time um, went right at 45 degrees, right up like that. So you're going up half as much each time. So this time it sort of shrinks in the y direction. So the, if a number here is a fraction, it's going to 
to shrink it in the y direction, the up and down direction. Now finally, what happens if you throw in a negative sign? Well, what you're going to find here is quite neat. If I go to the right one, I'm going to go down the square root of 1, which is down 1. If I go to the right 2, I'm going to go down the square root uh, I think I'll switch this to 4. If I go to the, to the right 4, I'm going to go down the square root of 4. That gives me negative 2. Instead of 3, I'll look at 9. If I go to the right 9, I'm going to go down the square root of 9, which is negative 3. To the right 0, down the square root of 0 is just 0. And to the left 1, I'm going to go down the square root of negative 1, which for real numbers is a no-no. So there's nothing that appears to the left of 0. Now when I plot these guys, um, I go over 1, I go down uh, 1. If I go over 4, I go down 2. If I go over 9, I go down 3. And over 0, I go down 0. So this graph is the same sort of curve that we looked at before, but it's now going down instead of up. This was the original curve that we we would have looked at on the last uh, video, over 9. Instead of going up 3, I now go down. There was the original. So a negative sign merely flips it in the y direction. So anything dealing with multiplying, think of this as negative 1 times that, anything dealing with multiplying uh, is going to work in the y direction, this number here. It's going to work in the direction of this letter over here, which is y. And uh, it's going to either stretch it, if it's a number bigger than 1, it's going to shrink it in the y direction, the vertical direction if it's less than 1, and it's going to flip it in the y direction if it's a negative. Now we're going to see what happens if we change um, uh, the starting point, and we'll do that on the next video.